Uh, my name is Mirko Mangum. I'm the Circa Footwear Marketing Director. Today I've come to this fine facility here to put on a skateboard show. So before we came here, we went to the Meanwhile 2 spot, get a little warm up, check out a little uh, the UK skateboarding history. California's sort of blown up out of proportion, you know, there's so many skaters there, you know, it's like crazy. You get kicked out of everywhere and you know, all that stuff. Just a search for spots, you know what I mean? It's a constant search for spots. But um, I can definitely see it blowing up more in Europe and more different, you know, people coming here more to skate, for sure. Well, I was probably like 12 when I first got sponsored. Just, I was at some contest in my hometown and it was just a small company. They only made like boards and clothing. A lot of kids just get into skating so they can get free product and uh, try to become popular, but that's wrong. I think kids know more about the whole game now. Before it was like you really didn't know what was behind the scenes. Now I think kids all know how the whole like skateboarding industry works so they know like what it takes to get sponsored. You know, you gotta film a video apart, you gotta bust, you gotta get in magazine. They're kind of more educated now on what they have to do. This is just skate for fun, you know? Just do it for yourself and then it'll come probably. Oh, so once you are sponsored, is it all it is cracked up to be? It has its ups and downs. There's good things about it. There's bad things about it. I wouldn't say it's glamorous. Sometimes it, it makes skateboarding not the same as what it was for you in the beginning. It's just what you make of it. It's just skateboarding, you know what I mean? To me, you know, it's like just having fun. The kids here are like a lot more passionate with demos that go on. They don't really take it for granted. They're, they're like really psyched on teams that come through here. What did I expect from the pros? Just, uh, just a good show, basically. I wanted them to kill themselves. I guess uh, I didn't really understand it. These guys had about 16 other shows they had to do, and uh, they don't really always feel like busting out as hard as they can. It's pretty wearing. Tomorrow morning, everyone will be up in four-hour drive, you know, do it all over again. Crazy man, I mean, just all these kids, they get wild, you know, like, they've been looking for, like, for it for a long time in order to see you and stuff. You know, you just want to, you know, make the kids happy and like go skate and have fun and, you know, just psych everybody up and just make them stoked on skateboarding, you know, and it just makes me feel good, you know what I mean? Mosca. <laughs> kids like him, because he's the man. Done a good job building his name and, and his skating ability, you know, like everyone knows that Muska takes to the next level and he does. Everyone on the team was having fun, just ripping it. It was just amazing. I, like, you know, I had to sit down and watch because there's just so much good stuff going on. It seems everyone has their 10 minutes. Some warm up faster than others, they find their rhythm and bombs start dropping. I'm down for it, keep it going, man. Just keep getting crazier and crazier, man. I'm not gonna stop until my body won't let me keep going no more, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, these kids are just taking what we've done and going, bringing it to the next level. I'm just trying to keep up with it too, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's up, this is Muska, Muska Beats, chilling in London. You're watching Rad, peace.